Well, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, I was going to wait until tomorrow to do the whole thoughts of the feminine, but I have a second, so I will do that now. I will do that now. So let's see what the feminine is up to. And don't forget, the feminine can be a masculine energy and, you know, vice versa. Um... I do honestly feel like I was reading the masculine energy there. And if you're in a like-minded relationship, you just got to kind of figure out, you know, alpha. Who's alpha and omega? So, anywho. So, this is going to be for August 25th to August 26th. Maybe 27th. I don't know. I don't know. But what's going on with the feminine? What's going on with the feminine energy? The lovers. So you're fully aware of a connection, you're fully aware of a situation, an ultimatum, a decision, somebody else, or you feel like you have a sacred connection with somebody. The feminine energy, please. Seven of Swords. She could know somebody's stressed out. You could be stressed out. The Lord. Could be dealing with the type of energy of somebody who just kind of... It's like... This emperor, you know. Um, in the death card, you could have put an ending to it. Or if someone wants something transformed, this energy doesn't seem to be doing much. They're not taking much action. So, you does seem like you are thinking about them. You know, I don't know how much you're thinking about them, but... <clears throat> you're coming in as the Queen of Wands energy, so basically I feel like you're just kind of doing your own thing right now. You are kind of looking in the past. I don't know if you have options. Looks like you put an end to something. You got the star. You're feeling balanced. Two of swords. So, I don't know if you think this is faded or, hmm. You're going to need to make a decision when it comes to him, when he makes a decision. It's whoever needs to make the decision. I guess it's whoever comes at who, right? So, you had the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups come out at the same time. So, I think you're just right now keeping your options open. I don't really think you're confused. You got the four of pence here too. So you might be, you know, holding back the three of swords. So there was some pain, but you moved forward probably away from the king of swords. I think you already had your tower, your tower moment. So whatever went down, you're just kind of like... You're not... Your, your focus is elsewhere. You may be fully aware that this energy is just sitting there. What is this lovers? What's going on there with the lovers? So again, you could be keeping your options open. You know you need to make a decision. Page of Swords, you know you're being watched. Two of Wands. So... It looks like you're at your crossroads, and the Two of Swords came out too with the Princess of Wands, the Death Card, and the Four of Wands. So yeah, this is something that ended. You ended it, and you already made the decision, and you, you walked away. And right now, you're not really doing much. What's the Seven of Swords? 
you could have felt deceived you could have felt there was some type of deception this energy is watching you I think you're fully aware of it four of wands so something shady was going on within a household especially with the devil there could have been a lot of partying drinking <clears throat> you could have been going to their house taking trips this is opera. so the emperor right now is missing you you could be missing them, but these two came out together, so they're missing you. See, here's the thing. I, but it's, to me, I think this is irrelevant because I just did the whole thoughts of a masculine, right? So to me, it, it's like you went crickets or you left this energy out in the cold, whether you miss them or not. Yeah, so it's coming in the same one. So you kind of you kind of went cold. Especially with the hermit here, you probably went crickets on them. You took yourself out of the cycle, the equation, especially with the death card. <clears throat> What's this death card? <clears throat> yeah, you took yourself out of the juggling. You stopped juggling that idea and you took yourself out of the equation. What is the Queen of Wands up, the Queen of Wands up to? So right now I think you're just you're, you're moving forward, you're keeping your options open, your focus is elsewhere. Um yeah, yeah, you're worried about your own contentment, your own happiness. You're not worried about being hurt. I think you cleared something up karmically because you got the world card here too. So you're just ready for a new beginning. You're definitely holding back from this energy. You're, you're just, you're happy. You could be partying, dating. You're just, you're taking care of you, your family. You're just, you're worried about your own contentment. You're leaving it up to the stars, your guides. You're leaving it up to the universe. Like... You're just, your focus is on you and what makes you happy. So you got the Six of Cups. You could be very well be dealing with an Aquarius. It does take, you know, strength um, for whatever it is that this is regarding. So this is your past. Somebody from the past is either going to return or they're about to. So you might have two men in your life. Or somebody's about to return. Could be your kid's father. Or it's just somebody you know that you used to have fun with. There, there's something here. It could just be aligning. So you're actually probably going to have to make a decision between an emperor and a king of swords energy for some of you. Others of you, it's the same energy. What is this two of swords? So it looks like you already made the decision to take yourself out of the equation. You put up boundaries. Yeah. I think you would just... You're going into a new cycle. You're going to have to choose whether this person comes along for the ride or not. Because right now you just... I don't even see any sign of confusion. You're just keeping your options open. You're loving yourself, taking care of yourself. And you have this offer coming. What is this Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups here? I feel like there's something divinely being orchestrated for you guys too. Something's going to be transformed here. Reconciliation. Probably with this person, with the masculine from the previous read. Right now you're kind of being a little cold and guarded. You restricted them somehow. Um, so it's... <clears throat> It's over, but it is. But something, one of these energies is going to want to transform. They're gonna want to reconcile. They're gonna want a new start. It's the end of the juggling. So you either have two people to choose from, or it's the same energy that wants to come in and have a new start. Meanwhile, if you want to know what the women are up to, ladies and gents, okay. They're worried about their own contentment, their own happiness. They're focused on themselves. They're keeping their options open. 
probably excited for a new adventure, but coming in like this, right? But could be focused on work too. Um, this is the Wheel of Karma. So it looks like she took, the feminine took themselves out of something karmic. They took themselves from out of the past. The moving forward, they're leaving it into the hands of like the universe or stars. However, something flows right now. But this is the universe coming in too to transform something. So, like I said, it's, you either have two men to choose from or it's all the same man. I think it might be two men, two different men. Because he was coming in here as the king of um, King of Pence, which was the previous energy that I, that I feel like I read. And now you got the emperor. I think the emperor showed its head in the last one, but I'm not positive. But then you have an Aquarius twice from the past. So I think it's whomever, it could even be strong Leo energy here too. Whoever you have restricted. You restricted this energy in 777. So you're worried about your own journey here too. That's for damn sure. Then you're, you're worried about anything else right at the moment. Okay. So you are going to have a decision to make on whether or not you're going to accept somebody back from your past. If there's been enough time for transformation. Or you needed to end something so this new person comes in. But I still think it's somebody from your past. I don't think it's anyone fresh. It's just the energy for the next few days, okay? So, hang in there. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.